So today I figured I would get out the backhoe again and we're gonna get rid of some of these uh, walnut saps, the little, I don't know, the little walnut trees. Like that one there, this one here, and all of these little ones. This little cluster here, this little cluster here, pretty much the whole way down there. And they go the entire length. And you can see some of these things, man, they're, I don't know, 18 feet tall maybe, something like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of as many of these things as I can and uh, just dig them up and get them out of here. You can see they just continue the whole way down here. And I might even, I might even remove some of these ones here, way down at this end. The brush hog will cut down all this stuff here. And I'd like to get rid of some of these things. You can see the, just these trees that grow up here. Get rid of the stumps and then we can come in here and brush hog all of this. There used to be a trail going down here. I think you can sort of see it. But, uh, Tell you, these walnut trees, these aren't walnuts here. The walnut tree is that tree right there. That's where all of them came from, and they're all planted even in here, too. So, I'm going to put a, this on a stop motion, I guess, or, uh, or time lapse. It's called a time lapse. And you guys will, will see everything uh, take shape here, and I'll just... I'll probably put them out in the grass here for now and then I'll pick them up later, but uh, this is a dead ash tree and This tree right there is another dead ash tree, so They're uh, Trees are dying everywhere. I swear around here, so without further ado, let's uh, Let's start digging up. There's one little one right here I'd like to get rid of and you can see so we sp stopped mowing here and we can mow the whole way to there. So, I mean, we've lost like four or five feet of the uh, bank here and walnut trees have taken over. So, plan is just to take them out and move them to the side. So, it took my brother and I probably, I don't know, three hours to do this maybe. And some of these walnut uh, saplings or small trees they were really in there and this backhoe really tears up the ground but it's I'm th still thrilled we have this thing it is a huge time saver there was a lot more trees here than I had expected uh, just from walking by them it took me another whole day well not a whole day but a good portion of a day to actually clean these up in the yard I didn't really get any video of that but I took the uh, Cub Cadet 582 special and I just dragged them over to the burn pile cut them up with the sapoch and then stacked them onto the pile I used actually used the 8N and the loader to push the burn pile here the I think the burn pile, by the time I was done, it was approaching two stories tall, and there was a bunch of dry wood on the bottom that I was able to burn to get, uh, or to make it burn and disintegrate. But a lot of the stuff that I cut today, or in this video, it did not really burn much at all. And I don't know why this, uh, one clip here is smaller than the other ones, but uh, whatever, so be it. So I actually broke the main pin on the bucket for the backhoe here doing this, which I was kind of surprised. I think it was broken for quite a while, and I finished it off. I couldn't figure out why the bucket was getting all loose and was, uh, as you're digging, it's twisting really bad, so... Uh, fortunately, we had a pin. I used, I pulled apart a transmission out of a lawnmower and I saved the axle for it. And it just happened to be that it was an inch, and the pin that was in the backhoe here was also an inch. So I lucked out there, and uh, the one half of it was long enough that 
I was able, my brother and I were able to drill two holes in it for the cotter pins and then I put the washers back on and off we go again. So you can see the backhoe has a decent amount of leak down. This is an old machine and I guess it's to be expected, right? But I think it's a 1954 uh, Sherman backhoe. I guess it's a power digger. I remember my brother saying that. And it's the tractor is a 1955 Ford 850, so no uh, live PTO, but it does have live hydraulics. And actually, one of these trees I kind of had a, a bit of an issue with here. The I was digging it out, and of course, you know, there's so much tree on top of the ground that, you know, when you start digging, the top of it obviously moves. And actually, it had came down and uh, hit me on the head quite good. I think it was this one here that I'm digging out now, but boy, did that hurt, man, oh man. I'm, I was actually thinking whenever I'm kind of doing stuff like this, I really should just wear a hard hat at all times and you know, just just deal with it. Uh, sometimes whenever it's cold, I generally don't like to wear a hard cat because my neck is all exposed and my head gets really cold. And I worry about getting a head cold then. So usually I just wear my hood up and I'm pretty comfortable. So uh, in case you're seeing the flames in the distance, actually the neighbors were having a big bonfire and it just so happened to be in this video here that it is in line sort of with the uh, smokestack or the exhaust, the exhaust on the backhoe. I did take the 8N and the box blade through here to try to smooth things out and that really didn't go as good as I was hoping. We really need a tiller to till up the ground and really smooth stuff out but there was so many leaves in here that had accumulated on this bank here. It, the dirt was approaching a 10 inches higher than the surrounding ground, like where the backhoe is. So, pretty cool. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one.